everybody and welcome back. I'm April May Walston and today I'm going to show you how I painted this rock. So stay tuned. So for this rock I did create a traceable that I have posted on my Patreon page. You do not need to be a subscriber to Patreon in order to download the file. It's free for everyone. And the link to my Patreon page is in the description box below. Colors that I used were cadmium orange hue, yellow ochre, lemon yellow, hooker's green, titanium white, burnt umber, and burnt sienna. So I'm going to start out, I'm using Thalo Blue, that's one color I didn't mention for the sky. So it's Thalo Blue and Titanium White to make the sky color. <clears throat> and I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint around my design. Uh, I did that, I always like to have the design when I start the painting so you can see what we're doing. If I were you, I would recommend painting the sky color, then transferring your image onto your rock. And I use a white transfer paper. They make it in several different colors. So I would use a colored transfer paper just so it would show up. Or you could even use a carbon paper. Uh, they do still make that stuff. I was, we used, I'm old enough to where we use that a lot in school, um, but they still make that these nowadays so I was kind of surprised I saw it at the store anyway so I'm gonna I did two coats for the background layer and for the full length version of this video um, that is loaded on my patreon page you do have to have it have to be a member of patreon but it's to see the videos all of my full length videos it's only four dollars a month and I'm trying to upload all of my rocks from here on out uh, with a voiceover my previous rocks I don't always I didn't record them with a voice but I can do a voiceover on those and I will be uploading those um, so my Patreon page has a lot of my old stuff on it and then I quit doing it and now I've kind of revamped it and have started back up on it. So here in the future I will be uploading all of my videos to Patreon, the full length versions. But the line drawings, the traceables are free to everyone. So you don't have to be a member to see the line drawings, but to see the full length uh, videos, it is $4 a month. So I'm going in and I'm just blocking in my color. I'm just, this is, I'm doing this mainly because, you know, I, I like to work in layers and I need to put in a color to kind of cover up the background. And you can see I'm leaving spaces between the petals so that the background is showing through. And that is just so that I don't lose my line drawing. I guess I'm losing my line drawing, but I'm not losing the placement of the petals. So now I'm going in and adding a second coat. And this one I'm adding a little bit more color to it. So now I'm going in and I'm mi a mixture of the yellow ochre and the orange to do the, see I'm, in the full length video I'm explaining the snap of bristles and stuff like that. So I go over a lot of detail about why I choose certain brushes and things like that in my full length videos. But anyway, I'm using a mixture of the cadmium orange and the yellow ochre. 
and this is going to be kind of my shadow color. And what I'm doing is I'm just doing the shadow color to begin with. And on the traceable, I have two different, I have the one that you saw on my rock, which is just the line drawing. And then I have another one where I've sketched in kind of where the shadows would go on the rock. So you kind of have two different uh, traceables to choose from. So now I'm going back over it and darkening up my shadows some more. Again, I'm working in layers. So I like to build my darks as I go. I don't just go in full force with the color. I like to, I like the layers. <clears throat> and when I work in layers, what happens is because the layers are thin, the light ref refracts through the layers, reflects through the refract. It's a refracting situation that's going on, but it's like reflecting through the layers, creating depth. In your layers because my layers are kind of translucent if that makes any sense <laughs> so now I'm adding a little burnt sienna to my shadows and that's gonna really kind of bring out the detail So now I'm going over the lighter part of the petals with some yellow, with the lemon yellow, and let's see, it looks like a little bit of uh, titanium white, I couldn't think of what the word was. So now we're going to do, it's, it looks like we're going to do the leaves, and this was hooker's green and titanium white. And again, I'm just doing a base coat, this is just blocking it in. And now I'm doing like the ribs of the leaves. With a lighter, that was with a lighter color. Now I'm going in and doing the shadows, kind of shading in around each leaf and around the stems of the leaves. The ribbing, the stem ribbing, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what you call all these flower parts. I'm not a, what would that be, a botanist? I'm not a botanist. I'm barely an artist, let's be honest. I'm just, so, I don't know all, all the correct terminology. Anyway, now I'm taking a round blender brush and I'm doing the inside portion of the flower. And I'm using a, I'm going to be using a pouncing method. Uh, and that's going to give me some variation in the colors. I'm showing how I, I didn't mix the colors very well. So when I pounce them onto the flower, I'm getting mixtures of white and burnt sienna in kind of a mottled effect. 
him going in and doing bringing out the brown just a little bit into the petals and there we go I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one